Hello, World Wide Web. Welcome back to the Hanging With Web Show. I'm GW Pometer. Thank you so much for logging on, tuning in, asking Siri or Alexa or whoever brought you here. We're happy that you're here. Click subscribe so you can come back over and over again. Click the little notification bell. You'll know every day at 2 o'clock what time it is and that we have a new episode up. So we are here at the International Christian Film and Music Festival in Orlando, Florida. We are on World Famous International Drive and we are hanging with author Justina Page, who is here this weekend to talk to everyone about uh, of her film idea, which is based on your book, right? Yes, Circles sir. of Fire. Yeah. And, um, and we're hoping for a film out of that, Embers of Hope. Um, Justina, thanks for hanging with us. Um, it's a pleasure. Glad Thank to be here. Thank you very much. Now, well, I'll tell you what, let's, let's rewind a little bit. All it's right. It's been one heck of a journey for you. It has. It, it really has. has. Let's talk uh, about your book and, and, and what inspired that. Well, my book was inspired, unfortunately, by a very tragic event where myself, my husband, and our six sons experienced a horrific house fire wow. that resulted in the death of our 22-month twin son, Ooh. severely injuring myself and the other twin, and us losing everything we had. Mm. Leaving me with the question, where was my God? Amen. It, 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 is, it, it is in those moments, isn't it, where we find, uh, where it, you know, I always tell people, if you want to find hope, go to the rock bottom. It's where we store it. That's right. And and you were able to do that though. You went through you went through your crisis well, and you came ordeal. out. Well, quite an ordeal. I tell you what, I awoke from a six-week coma, intubated, in excruciating pain, wow. not knowing who lived, who died, what happened. I passed out in an ambulance on the way to the hospital. But to wind back just a little bit. Further, a week before that, I had asked God a question. I'm in a family where I'm a homeschool mom. My husband is uh, a provider. We're financially stable. Uh, everyone's looking to me for hope and wisdom. Well, of course I could give them to them. I had never experienced anything. Mm -hmm. And I asked God a question. If something happened to me, would I be able to stand? And I wanted to know that answer. Now, I don't advise asking God questions, by the way. <laughs> Not like that. Yeah, but yeah. I did. If you want to know what you can go through, keep it to yourself. <laughs> because you'll find out. And yeah. you did. I and really you did. did. And you really did. I did. Um, and you came out of it? And you came out I of did. it with a story to tell? I did. I came out with a great story to tell um, with some major high points. First of all, the life as a Christian, it's just not about us. I'll never forget um, after I had lost my son. Um, after I had went through a year of physical recovery mm -hmm. because I was able to use my hands again and walk again and go to fellowship with the women again. Everyone thought I was fine, but internally I was dying. I was crushed. I still had questions for God. I was in pain for the loss of my son. Mm -hmm. And I'll never forget everyone going in the room, in the house, and I sat in the car aside because, you know, I'm that strong, virtuous woman that everyone looked to, so I couldn't just cry in front of everyone. So I had just this big cry, and I'm sitting there, God, why my son? Why not their sons? Why did I have to go through this? And I never forget, he told me, this is not about you. And I was like, I went from, if you were watching me from a distance, you would have thought I was insane, because I went from these tears to hysterical laughter. It hit my funny bone, because I'm like, for it not to be about me, it sure involved quite a bit of me. Could it you felt please like it explain? Was. Yeah. It, was, it felt like, But the you know. long, the longest story is that we are here for God's purposes. And he told me, you revolve around me. I don't revolve around you. And all things work together for good. And that's another lesson I learned. Wow. It's and for good. So um, let's talk about the book. Absolutely. Um, you, what, when you came out and you, and you sat down and... What made you want to write it all down? Well, I tell but you what. what, what be poor, living your pain is hard. Yes, it is. And 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 like you said, even the thought of sharing your pain, sometimes that's even harder. You yes. have to go and be quiet alone. And we all do this. We all go mm -hmm. in our own quiet space, and that's where we live our pain. What 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 put it in your mind that I need to write this down? I need to share okay. this story. Well, I tell you what happened. I began. First of all, when I was on the unit, I had tons of support. They actually thought I was a local celebrity. I wasn't. 
but I had so much support and it made the difference in my recovery. Mm -hmm. So I vowed to myself when I got out and was on my feet, I would come back to the unit and simply quote unquote, just volunteer, mm -hmm. just to make sure no one is alone, that everyone at least knew that Christ could help them through it. So as I did that, I got a tap on my shoulder because I'm bossy. And I begin to say, this needs to be done and that needs to be done. And God tapped me on my shoulder and said, what are you doing? I'm like, wow, I'm doing what everyone else is doing, complaining. So I started a nonprofit in memory of my son called the Amos House of Faith to support burn survivors. Well, wow. on that platform, I ran across so many people. Just, you know, your gift will make room for you. So naturally that morphed into speaking and just different things. And everyone kept saying, you need to write a book. And I'm saying, I don't have time to write a book. They said, if you write the book, the proceeds could go to your nonprofit. Ding, ding, ding. We can write that book. And I wrote that book in two months. Wonderful. And, and it, it was at, um, fully um, published and everything within two months. That is fantastic. Now, that's not the only book you've written, though. Since no, it's then, not. Since then, you have found your inner artist. And you I have begun have. to write more and well, more. Well, I've always been books. a writer, uh -huh. but I just never sought to be an author, if that makes any sense. It does. Yeah. It, I've been writing yeah. since I, was, I could hold a pen. Yeah. yeah, and, yeah, uh, yeah. And, and then one day, I... Somebody should read this stuff. Yeah. Besides me. Yeah. yeah you yeah. know, in my own mind, I was really good. Oh, right. So, <laughs> we all? We're that's the right. best, right? I was the best in my own mind, but yeah. I thought, well, maybe I'd let somebody else read that and yeah. see what they think. Exactly. And, uh, turned out that they agreed. I liked that. Awesome. So, but, uh, but you've done four more books. I have. So what naturally morphed from uh, the Circle of Fire is the Circle of Fire study guide. Okay. My readers wanted more, and I didn't know what to give them. Um, and I said, oh, well, maybe if I do a study guide where I could take my experience, transfer, tap into their experience, and then provide a solution and healing for them. A catharsis, would, an outlet yes, for them. Yes, exactly. So, That's awesome. Yeah, that did that very well awesome. as well. Yes. So it's just simply the Circle of Fire study guide. And then um, my husband and I have been married 32 years, and just the love and commitment we have for each other I'm always concerned about marriages, and I'm seeing a trend of this selfishness when it comes to married people, and then it winds up in divorce. So, what I've learned to do, what I did, I decided to write a comical, I tapped into my comical side, okay. and I wrote a marriage set called the ABCs of your husband's needs and the ABCs of your wife's needs. And it's literally every alphabet I share a spiritual and a natural need that the spouse wow. have so people could think on the other spouse. If I'm busy serving you and tending to your needs and you're busy serving me and tending it to is, my needs. It, it, I, we tell so many people that we, that we see, um, there's, a, there's that moment in life, that moment when you get married, that moment when you have someone special, mm -hmm. when you stop, when, when you, in your mind you have to stop. We stop doing it in public, but in your mind you have to stop using the word I and start using the word we. And when you start doing that, life gets a whole lot better, and it stays that way. That's right. Um, but it's a hard thing to do. Right. We, we can do it in public. You know, we do that when we're out in public. But when we're in private and we're on our own minds, That's right. we have to teach ourselves That's that it right. really is not, you, you put it the best that they could, it's not about me. That's right. It's about we. Um, so, all right. So, uh, you're here this weekend pitching yes. uh, your movie idea. Now, I am. What, what inspired you to want to take your book? and make a movie out of it. Um, and here's raw authenticity. Okay, so I've been asked to share my story. And I've been, I've been approached by producers for years now. Mm -hmm. And every time I prayed, no one was a fit. I mean, it's almost like God was blocking it. No, no, no. no. You gotta find the right one. No, no. Right? Just saying, and then you all find of a right sudden, one. I'm not even here for this per se, at least it wasn't the original reason I came here. Uh -huh. And then God pointed out and said, I want you to do this here. I'm like, whoa. So we'll see what When that door opens, yeah. you, you, you don't, don't let it pass you by, right? Exactly. That's exactly right. Um, we are here at the International Christian Film and Music Festival in Orlando, Florida. We've got to wrap it up. As we do, we want to say thank you to all of the people who share these videos all over the World Wide Web. Our good friends at Off the Chain Radio with author Yvonne Mason. Our great friends at the Foxwood Wine Company and Krypton Radio. Our friends over at Celestial Healings, Josh Bauer at J. Bauer Art. Uh, we want to, uh, Jake Estrada and David Grace and uh, Chuck Fresh over at Space Coast Comics and Indie Originals Live. 
our great friend Rick Shea and his team over at Famous Faces and Funnies. By the way, guys, uh, if you didn't see it back in the day, you missed out. Today was actually free comic book day, too, so if you're not watching a really cool movie, you can get a free comic book, and you're not there. What's wrong? Anyway, we're here. We're hanging with author Justina Page, the author of Circle of Fire, and coming soon up the road, we're going to drop links so you can follow Justina's journey. So coming soon up the road, keep an eye out for Embers of Hope or something thereabouts. It's going to be really close to that because you want to hear this story. This is an inspirational story, and it teaches you that no matter where you are in life, no matter what you're doing, somewhere in the darkness you can find hope. Stay tuned in, stay logged on, and see who we're hanging with next. Thank you so much to see Thank you. Awesome. <laughs>